The images here are the wives of King Henry VIII. If anybody's watched the Tudors, you can understand how it would be to be a child of one of these women. Being a child, myself, the youngest of eight children, I learned how to be quiet. I learned how to take my punishments, my beatings, the isolation, but I also learned how to become educated and to be decisive in my actions, to follow through when I said I was going to do something, and always being of a service mind. I always had a service mind because I had older brothers and sisters, which I didn't really know. My parents were older, so I had to be quiet. I had to isolate. I had to do as I was told. And most of the time that meant doing as I was told, but not what I saw. I was not allowed to do what I saw. So life was different for me. The point here is, is that the child that one of these women had, Queen Elizabeth, who ended up becoming the queen of the ages, she was a bright and colorful person, but she knew a lot of evil around her. Now, I didn't know this person. Of course, this was hundreds of years ago. But I just want to attest to the fact that when you're a young child and you grow up and there's many wives or many husbands, say for instance, your dad has been married several times or your mom has been married several times and you don't really know either side. You don't really know the children, which are your siblings, your brothers and sisters. You don't really know your parents. You don't really know your aunts and uncles until later in life. And it's unfortunate. And then say you have children of your own and they want to know who your family is and why you don't know them. And then you get videos like this on YouTube where there's people that are talking about the woke generation, fighting generational curses, breaking financial curses, breaking curses of the generations where they've decided to about face and follow what God has told them in their heart of hearts, or suddenly he rips them out of a situation that was not for them, and suddenly their eyes are open. I just want to remind you, if you've been in an abusive relationship, if you grew up in a household that was divided, a blended family. Take, for instance, the story of the man who said, Jesus, I am not worthy. I am number 82, number 82 child, the 82nd child in a polygamous family. My dad had eight wives and there's 82 children. I'm not worthy. I beg to differ. We have to step back and look at what we are in God's eyes. We are all important. We are all his children.